police investigators who couldn't wait to get my father killed, literally, uh, they told me that you now once you hang, there's a different light here, okay. Once you hang a black shirt like this on a, on a front row here, is what we're gonna kill your father. This is, these are the words of the police investigators to me during MK Ultra. If we see black shirts like this, this is a sign that we have to kill your father, basically. This, is, this, this was a ritual of lunacy. This was a complete, complete, complete lunacy. Uh, my father was driven completely insane. One time I was inside of the boat with him and with a psychiatrist, Kapsch. And it was psychiatrist Kapsch who talked about, and it was not he only, it was also other people. And they talked in front of me about the fish, uh, a belly from the fish, uh, how it would blow the stomach and stuff like this they were playing with, literally inside of the boat during MK Ultra. Uh, and that, that was my father said to me in the boat, this is how I will die. This is how I will die. You know, this was the, this was a conversation when they had me drugged up inside of the boat with them. This was a type of the conversation we had and with other people. Yeah. Well, this is, you know, like it's a normal thing. Yeah. Well, this is the way it is. This is the way to do. Um, in 2000 and in 2000 and oh, 2015 or something like that, 2000, beginning the 2000 and, 2016 probably, 2015, 2016. However, they had my father at already, they already had my father at a prison. Uh, inside of the prison, it's called um dob prison not too far from here it's called the dob prison d o b prison and inside of that prison uh, they had a a care unit like intensive care unit the same thing like at the home for elderly people and father totally agreed that he will be transferred from the home for elderly people to the DOP prison. Uh, and it was like this, he claimed, because I wanted so. And so again, it was my fault. And the police acted in front of me like they got him, like they caught him. Uh, they caught him doing something, whatever they caught him doing. Uh, and because I was apparently so hostile to him, <laughs> I, I was not the one hostile. He lied against me to put me inside of the psychiatric hospital. That's a big difference, isn't it? For the police. And police continued. Police went on. Where they took me to the prison dop. They took me from home for elderly people. And it was in a prison dop in this intensive care. Uh, they demonstrated this intensive care that looked really, really good. Uh, however, the police investigator who investigated this and was on Friday at the Eurospin store where I was purchasing, doing my purchase, my shopping, uh, mother uh, got her ankle broken. So now I get to shop by myself with her money. This is one shopping I have done in I don't know how long. I have evidence of everything. And it was this police investigator inside who also demonstrated me how they video record me and stuff. I have the proofs about how they actually even count the cost of the food that I purchase, how they do everything. I have now the proof also about shopping, how they video monitor everything and how they procalculate everything I purchase before I even reach the register. They know how much money I spend and everything. It's amazing. I'm going to do the video on that stuff. This was the guy 
investigator who one time also met me at the police station. He was involved in MK Ultra, uh, and he was the one who claimed we will investigate this case, that he will be the one. And he said to me, well, at, at the, this prison dub, once we transfer him to the prison dub, now this is going to be the place you are not going to be allowed to to visit the father. Uh, and it was something about that you will still be decided what to do with him. If I would not want that, they are just going to... This is the way it is. Um, father knows everything where he is at. He knows exactly where he is heading from here. Um, he is just not aware about what kind of lunacy he got himself into. Uh, and it's quite understandable because his driver license, I realized today when I was cleaning the car, uh, he would not have the driver license even issued, you know. Uh, the thing is, he would not have the driver license issued. He had a lot of problems with the vision, with all kinds of problems already. And it was all up to police. Um, which conditioned him, either you're going to cooperate us with us, or you're not going to have a driver license. You're not going to... They turned his life into shit, into a misery, with one word. He could have a driver license and everything, they make him blind, they destroy him, they decimated him, and so he continues his way to hell. I visited him today at Home for Elderly People. We did not spoke, not even a single word. I came just like yesterday, uh, but yesterday I did not even bother him because he acted like he sleep. And since I came at 7 o'clock, which was late, they closed at 7.45, I would not even want to try to anything. He didn't want to be disturbed anyway. He gave me a sign. It was the sign that I understood did not want to have anything to do with it, with me. Um, today when I visited him, it's exactly according to MK Ultra, with, for what he stated, will act this way, will not even talk to me, anything like this. He is seeking attention and hopes that I will be the one who will initiate, again, uh, everything so that he can do his part again. This is what typical is. And he stated to me during MK Ultra, if I would not go and basically allowed to be provocated if I would continue to keep cool, calm, cool, uh, that then he would take initiative in his hand and try to create a conversation. So you see, this is, this is the stuff that goes on at this home for elderly people. He is poor, he is really poor. Um, it really did not have to go to distance this far. But, you know, he did it for the police, he did it for his friends, um, and I don't know how much he did it for himself, but he's really, really poor. He really, really looks pathetic. When you know you're going to go from hope for elderly people straight to the prison on the same kind of department in intensive care where you're going to spend time. Um, is just just really really poor it's just really really poor when they had me in this place in this prison dub when i saw that place this intensive department uh it actually really looked good and police was very very angry with me uh because i did not understood that this is where the father is going to go to i know i did not understood anything about what they were trying to tell me i didn't get absolutely anything so, uh, whatever they interpreted in his head, whatever they did to him, and they did the same thing to my mom. My mom is so brainwashed. This is, this is a loony. I will never forget the day when she was barely meeting, waiting for this uh, psychiatrist cop, for the police to come. And started to cry to them how bad it is at home, and I don't know what, and so on. And they were laughing about her, man. They, they went behind her back and they were laughing their asses. They were laughing their asses off, compared her with a dog, literally, with a dog they compared her. Uh, after they compared her with a dog, 
that had some kind of infection in his teeth and his teeth were like it would look like he's gonna bite all the time like it was rampaged all the time this is how she was this is how she looked like they didn't know what the fuck to do with it uh it became evident they're laughing and then they they turned the whole thing like they're laughing at me that i was the one like this and so on and so forth this shit is so pathetic this shit is so pathetic and um you know my parents they just follow the grave basically for the sake of my niece because she's younger and she has a children with her husband and a sister yeah, and I am just what it, what I am. I am just shit. I'm just no good. I never was any good. I never was welcome here. And, you know, I would love to help them out, but there is nothing I can do for them. There is absolutely nothing, nothing. And I mean absolutely nothing I, I can do for them. As much as I try to help, they don't want my help. Uh, I prepared the food for mom, which broke her ankle. She doesn't want to eat one. She eats trash. Um try to take her out try to do whatever i can and anything i do is just everything i do is wrong everything about me is wrong so other people are more correct are other people are better than myself and you know this is just the way it is sometimes there's nothing you can do about it let me demonstrate you what that looks like on this is a prison it's called the dob prison and this is the address of this place and here are the directions from the novel master city novel master city this is just 30 kilometers of novel master it's very close by here but it did not stop here it was Milan Kuchan that got father to what is known also UKC in Ljubljana city. This was a, such a sick shit that went on. It started in 2015. They were using my father like, you know, like you use a pencil. I mean, just flipping him from one facility to the other. Uh, the poor thing did not even know what the fuck went on. He was all confused, all crazy about this stuff. It was the police, politicians. All the politicians you see now with Golop, with Natasha Pirc Musar, Slovenian president, Borut Pahor, you name it. And they claim that for this facility here in UKC, Ljubljana, in Ljubljana city, we gotta do this one. This is where they would treat him. This is where they would cure him. I don't know what it would be. I was also told an opportunity when it comes to the prison that they would only keep one, at first it was, they would only keep one, I don't know how I did that stuff, wow. it doesn't matter. Dob primirni prison. They told me they would only, they can only keep one here. That's what they told me about them. They told me they can only keep one here for three months. Individual was involved in it. They were the entire administration of this prison facility. It was something that they they told me they can maximum they can keep one I think like three months and it was like or six months or whatever but in this facility in this intensive care facility it was something like this that they cannot keep him for too long like they have some kind of a uh, intensive care facility at this prison facility if it's true I do not know uh, however
they switched farther in 2015, beginning 2015, 2014, between a DOP prison in Ljubljana, between the DOP prison and Ljubljana. And it was something like this, that this, for whatever trial would go like six months or something like this, uh, and it would be proven that father is innocent. <laughs> it would be proven the father was innocent, and then they started to claim that I would go to the prison and so on. So this guy had a so much brainwashed head that he just, really from the point of view, from the human point of view, he didn't have any kind of capacity to make any kind of sound judgments or anything like this. I mean, this guy just, this is an old man who just follow his trail of politicians as they charted one politicians from Ljubljana in Novo Mesto Police. The main individual of this crime from Novo Mesto Police was Jana Zogulin. Uh, it was also Jursic, a new director, who had me at this prison and suggested they they have like uh, the the most beautiful room that they are there one is ready for me and this kind of stuff pretty insane stuff but this is basically what went on during mk ultra i don't know how the father is The thing is that for him, time is running out, and I'm not going to be capable to help him in absolutely any way, even if I wanted to. It will be too late, and when it's going to get too late, I will not want to. It is just as simple. He's crazy. He's literally crazy. He is playing his ticket, and it's a ticket to hell. Nothing I'll be capable to do for one. Uh... It's um, something that also concerns this individual here. His name is Luis uh, Peterle. This guy here. This was the guy who caused so many problems to me. This individual here. As soon as Slovenia became independent, uh, this was the individual that wanted me dead at all costs. He found, originally understand what I was told, and I saw it on the TV. I am not going to be hiding from you. He is from Trebnia city. And what I remember is his mother, his very modest place where he is from, farm, if this is true. Um, very modest place in Trebnia city. Uh, where my niece's husband, uh, Mitya Weber, is also from. That's interesting. Uh, and, you know, this was the individual who demanded from me, as Slovenia got independent, for me to get married to his old love. And the old love, his old love is a journalist, is a journalist that works in the Novo Mesto city. Uh, I have to see this stuff. I did not investigate that. But I saw a little documentary that she had with another criminal also involved in it. And this is another... I am so sorry about this stuff. But this is another dump, another dunk I created, literally. His name is... Um, this individual here, his name is uh, Martin Strel. Uh, he made it uh, to the Guinness Book of Records, swimming and so on and so forth. This is another Udba individual who was involved in MK Ultra. I will never forget the day when it was not much prior to Slovenian independence, when it was the they, they had a meeting with uh, Serbian officers and believe it or not, they all, without exception, every one of them, with the Petrle, with everybody, bow down to them. They all bow down to them. 
and I did not bow down to them. I was the only person who did not bow. I again, I gave the total resistance. I don't even know how I am alive today. Slovenia, however, did become independent. And this guy, I saw his documentary, he also, you know, to the... I don't know if they're going to demonstrate this somewhere during the last week. Uh, let's see if I get something like this. If I get him some, somewhere. I don't see him anywhere on the TV. You know, this is the shittiest, the, the, the shittiest garbage that was involved in MKUltra. In this individual, this world record, he's known as a world record man, was like a very, very close friend of Loise Petrle from the same city, Trebne. And this individual, who was a nobody and nothing, everything he accomplished through MK Ultra, literally everything. Uh, as soon as Slovenia became independent, it was Loise Petrle who started to finance one, buy him with a taxpayer's money uh, and tickets and preparations, finance his projects, uh, get him people through me, literally still using me through MK Ultra case. In the US, in Brazil, wherever he traveled, uh, this was the guy who wanted me dead together with the Loise Petrle as soon as Slovenia became independent. I was not worth that shit. They continued to suck from MK Ultra crime. All the connections, everything. The last thing he got was Bill Gates. He was using me for his investments. This, this individual. He has no fucking world record. Um... This is a fucking nobody. This is somebody that was sponsored, financed, taken care of by international crews, by the international people who interacted through this MK Ultra case. Everybody did in Brazil, through Manaus, through entire Amazona, through entire Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, you name it. How many people were involved in Brazil in this? Maybe I don't know how many. I don't know, maybe a million people in this case of mine. Um, this girl from Trebnia, whom Loise Petrle demanded from me to marry, however, that's an interesting thing. She looked like a Serbian girl. She looked like a Serb, like a 100% Serb. She looked more Serbian than the Serbian girls in Serbia. And I assumed actually that it was that some Serb made her here in Slovenia, whatever. I don't know what this guy demanded from me to get married to the Serbian girl with a Slovenian last name. Because I simply, I cannot believe that she is Slovenian. She has Slovenian last name for sure. He claims she is Slovenian. I saw her on a TV even today. I cannot believe that she is Slovenian. Okay, one thing is to be biological Slovenian. Another one is to be from somewhere else. But this is not the point. The point is about something different. She's actually a really good looking girl and I became even interested in her. This is not the point. The point is, who the fuck is this guy here that he would determine whom I would get married to, whom I would have the right to live with, when in one side this criminal claimed, together with Igor Boucher, these are both hardcore Udba people, they claimed with, the, uh, with the Igor Boucher that they would save me, which is insane, because they told me upon Slovenian independence that they will get rid of me. And because I'm not worthy for them. I'm not worthy of any, anything, really. And I'm a trouble for them. I was the trouble for them 
the two claimed because my father was associated with the Kuchan, because he was associated with the Pahor, with, he was associated with the Golop, he was associated with the hardcore Udba people. This is what these people here claimed. This guy subjected me to Mount Everest of torture in the city of Trebne, and likewise, just as the case was with this girl from Trebne, whom he even claimed that he contemplated on marrying her. Why the fuck didn't you, man? I don't understand. He said, well, because I am a Slovenian politician and I am, you know, elite Slovenian politician and so on. Really? Really? So for you, because you're an elite Slovenian politician, she was not good enough. But for me, she was good enough. In other words, you and you and I am here to obey whatever the fuck you have to say. This is the biggest worm, the biggest parasite in the modern history of Slovenia. We have never had a parasite like this in Slovenia yet. This motherfucker bragged about Austria. That is Austria that is good and this and that. Because I was the one who embraced Austria. And because Udba could not beat out of my head idea about Austria. No matter what they tried, I always refused them, I rejected Serbia, and always favored Austria. And he had a problem with it, and because they all learned they couldn't do anything about it, he started to find thoughts that I liked and began to, uh, through the brainwash, literally through this guy using him, I saw his documentary the other day, it reminded me of MK Ultra. He interrogated me with other people, and based on my answers, came up with idea on how and blah, blah, blah. Uh, supposedly that he's in Novo Mesto, he now lives in America. Uh, this is a dude with a grammar school. I don't know if he ever completed like a three-year school or something like this. He's not exactly NASA scientist. You know, but because because everybody was worth more than I have anything. Because. Just because of that. They opened one the road. They opened one possibility as to pretty much do whatever he wants. So the only people they would do this are to the Udba people. I don't have anything else to say in respect to this stuff. Uh, they could not save... They could not save me because, yeah, my father was associated with the Milan Kuchan. And they got in trouble because of me, because they tried to save me. Uh, this guy came up with a million and one lie. And that's all there was. And, yeah, my father is just inconvenient for Slovenia. It will be either you or it will be your father. Your father is just not going to be part of the story of the Slovenia because, you know, it's just about Slovenia and we have to think very, very highly about Slovenia, right? Because this is what it's all about, yeah? And your name is also not Milan Kuchan. You are different than Milan Kuchan, except that you are completely the same, except that you are worse than Milan Kuchan, except that you are hiding behind Milan Kuchan. That's all there is to it. Honestly, father paid enormous price for this shit. He, they made him blind. He was not blind. They made him blind. Uh, they break his head. He end up at the UKC uh, with a brain surgery and that kind of stuff. Wow. Exactly everything according to MK Ultra. Uh, he paid Mount Everest for this shit, for Milan Kuchan, for Loise Peterle. He disliked Loise Peterle enormously. He blamed Loise Peterle for everything. He was stupid. He was stupid enough to land for political games. For political gains, he started to take sides. Uh, and in his schizophrenia, in his delusion, illusion, uh, he have all forgotten about I am his son. And he forgotten about I am his son because, because of the bad things he did, you know?
I am still the only person in this world that I'm willing to help him somehow. But he is not recognizing that. He is in his, on his way and on his trail, and this is a trail to the grave, literally. He is basically on his, on his mission. And it's impossible. I have seen what they were doing with him during MKO, which I can tell you that it was Mount Everest of abuse and torture. Ended up blind, literally, with making martyr out of him. Talking to him like he is, I don't know, man, studying our family's family photos bringing so many people in the house to see these photos and all this, our past from the family. It's nothing special. It's just a family, man. It's just a family like every other family. Um, but they did the stuff like this to drive people insane, to drive people completely crazy, to put people in trance completely. I will never forget when I saw my mom one time during MK Ultra. It looked like a, it just looked like a dog. It looked like, according to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, and it's something that I have seen today. They reminded me during the visit to the father, like a dog with a teeth infection. Something like this. It it looked like this. Truly, 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 she was. She was just. She was just going through a total, total pathos. Literally like this. I had never seen Sorry, now I'm laughing about this stuff. <laughs> I've never seen mom like that before. Uh, it is funny. Uh, I've never seen her like this before, but she was all, some people stated schizophrenic. <laughs> she was, she completely, completely lost it. And they laughed about it. They were laughing behind her back. They were going crazy. What have you done with the mama and so on? They changed the story afterwards, claiming that if I wanted to know how I look like during MK Ultra, and they did the same, then they demonstrated me and they were laughing at me. But the thing is that When they realized this stuff, that she was not okay in the head, do you think they offered her, like, do you think they cared about why she is, what's wrong with her, what, what happened to her? No, man. It's all about, we're gonna fuck him. We're gonna take care of this. We're gonna, whatever it's gonna be. And mama was like with the tongue all the way down to the floor, like, you know. You don't even understand the, how insane my family members became, excluded my niece and her husband, which both have close, he does have, I think, even two doctoral degrees, and she has close to doctoral degree. I mean, you don't understand how criminal this shit is, how criminal these circumstances are. They drive family completely nuts, completely insane. You know, my father is without absolutely any doubt. He's guilty as charged, the way I charged him on the blog. He's totally guilty. I was not his son. I was, I was no good. I was mentally ill. I was a trouble. I was the one that needed to be destroyed according to him. He had seen himself. I was, 
Actually, my niece's husband was everything that I did not accomplish. Simple as this. He was he got a doctoral degree and so on. My father, due to circumstances I mentioned earlier, all kinds of stuff like this that were driving him. It's like, wow, you know, really? And you do this? And it's like, wow, and what is it? I mean, he knows how to whatever, catch fish and uh, take care of fruit and whatever. He's not stupid, he's a very smart individual, but the thing about it is they overblow, they blew out of the proportions and he started to see himself as a part of this uh, elite, highly educated society he wanted to be part of. And I was just a dirt on the picture, I was just a problem problem for for him a problem for mama uh, my niece got uh, kids uh, it, you know and I was a crazy uncle and they were all normal and the further he went the crazier I was you know I became there's no doubt you know but yeah the politicians also uh, did their part I don't know how much I'm going to be capable to help father he he is just He's playing an idiot and time is running out. Uh, I did visit it today and he was not communicative and frankly I'm not communicative either on circumstances like this. I came, I say hello, uh, he didn't feel like he wanted to talk to me, I didn't even speak either. So I walk away. Um, he does it like this, I also do it like this. Um, he wanted to play this kind of game to see how long this is going to go for. I'm afraid uh, his time ran out and won't be capable to play this anymore. He does have a great autonomy uh, in decisions making. He continues to play somebody important. He's not. And every day is closer and closer to the prison. One of these days, they're going to come eventually to pick him up and transfer him to a dope prison. I'm afraid.